Welcome to this edition of How to Do Something. In this case, we're going to be using Google Maps to figure out a pedestrian route, or maybe we'll call a jogging or running route. You know it is, how it is. You're out uh, traveling, uh, out on business, uh, vacation, etc., etc., and you were thinking about going someplace, or after you've walked to some place, you said, how far was that? I might be interested in uh, going out as a pedestrian this time instead of uh, taking other some uh, some other transportation. Hey, we got Washington D.C. and I've already uh, marked ahead the uh, Rock Creek Park trails in Washington D.C. I'm going to zoom down here a little bit and uh, get oriented uh, just to show you the general area. If you're not that familiar with uh, Washington D.C., it's uh, right in the area of the uh, Washington Zoo. Smithsonian National Zoological Park is the formal name. Uh, and then uh, along uh, Rock Creek, uh, there's some nice uh, trails that you can take for a walk and, and that sort of thing. So let's see what it gets us when we uh, figure out where we want to navigate. Okay? So uh, let's see if I can't move this little uh, device here and uh, get started with making some directions. And the way to do that is, in this case, you want to move your mouse up here so the little pop-down occurs and you click on Directions. Okay? And in this case, uh, it's already selected uh, the Rock Creek tra Trails. That's what happened when I uh, did a Google search on this. But that may not be your starting point. So I'm going to drag, if I can, uh, I'm going to drag the mouse to this location. So in this case, where it's spotted, uh, when I first uh, put in the uh, Rock Creek Park Trails, the little B right here, that little indication, uh, that would be my starting point and then my finishing point. But you notice these uh, blue little dots along here. What's really great is that you can uh, change these. You can move them around and they stretch them and extend them. What do I mean by that? Well, currently it's showing me this trail. If I started here at the intersection of the uh, trail and Calvert Street and follow the trail and come around here and to this midpoint here about where the uh, zoo is, I'd be going some uh, 11 minutes or 0.6 miles. Let's go ahead and uh, stretch that a bit and see what happens when we move the trail marker and come around here to this corner. And you drag the trail marker and says, okay, now it's 13 minutes or 0.7 miles. Let's take it even further. Let's go all the way around here, around the park, following the creek, around here to uh, Harvard Street Northwest, okay, and I'll let it go. So uh, essentially I've got a 1.1 mile walk 21 minutes and that's all you have to do is go ahead and stretch the marker and uh, let's see what happens if I stretch the marker uh, from the other end and go over here and uh, from this uh, intersection maybe that's close to the hotel your house or some residence you're at that sort of thing here or uh, let's uh, move the marker and I'm going to come down here and assume that I'm starting here at the fork in the Rock Creek Park trails all the while I'm doing this, you're getting a change in mileage and you're getting the time because I've already previously selected the pedestrian. So I hope that helps you navigate when you're in some uh, neck of the woods, uh, literally woods or uh, urban area there. And you can move the dots around and uh, get a better idea of what it would be if you were going to take a pedestrian out. Hope this is of some help to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.